I am not starting with a facial map because I am apparently bad at following my own directions. But I really just wanted to make a quick video, not for you to copy me, but for you to watch. Because everybody's face looks different. So there's no point in me drawing a picture of myself for you to copy because then you're going to have a picture that looks like Mrs. Miranda and doesn't look like you. And I've been drawing faces for a very long time, so I don't need a facial map anymore when I'm drawing because I know where things go. But that doesn't mean that I didn't use them when I was younger. So what I'm doing is I'm drawing my face and then I am going to color in my features with colored pencils. You can use whatever you have at home. You don't need to use colored pencils. I like them because I like how they blend together. So you can see that I'm adding a little bit of pink to the nose and the cheeks, and that's gonna blend in with my skin tone when I go in to use it, and it's gonna make it look a little more realistic. You can also see that I'm using a blue for my outlines instead of black because you know I don't believe in black. I very rarely use black, especially when I'm drawing faces. You can also see, like what I said, when you're doing your facial map, when you're drawing your hair, you don't want to draw each individual strand. You want to block in shapes and that makes it look more realistic. I'm adding in texture with the blue and that's gonna make it look like shadows in a way, the dark areas of my hair, before I go in with the highlights. So I'm just coloring in a basic brown over top of everything that I've done. And my hair still looks a little flat. That means it doesn't look three-dimensional, it looks very 2D. So I'm gonna go in with a lighter brown, and I'm also gonna go in with a yellow or an orange to act as my highlight and just gloss over it real quick. And you can see that it very quickly makes it look way more lifelike. Now I'm going in with my skin color, and I'm just going to gloss over pretty much the whole face. If you don't have a skin color, you can make your own brown and just color very, very, very lightly. You can also use a yellow or an orange or, you know, really any color that you want your face to be. Normally, I would spend a lot more time on this with a lot more different colors, but I'm trying to draw something that I think you could also draw very easily, so we're not going to get too crazy with it. I'm adding a little bit of white to different areas for highlights. And now I'm done with the basic form of my self-portrait. Does it look 100% like me? No. It actually looks like a cartoon picture of me. That's okay. We're not looking for perfection. We're just looking for something cute and fun for you to do. Now what I want you to do for your background is I want you to draw your favorite things because you know how much I do not like blank space I say it all the time this is not a Taylor Swift music video I want you to get rid of your blank space so I'm adding in things that I love like reading I love basketball and a lot of times when I'm coloring in my background I like to add in colors that I didn't use in the picture. So I'm bringing in oranges, greens, darker pinks, blues, purples, things that you don't see in my self-portrait. And that kind of balances out your picture a little bit more. I also love video games, so I'm drawing my Switch. Obviously, I love to paint, so I've got to add in a paintbrush and a pencil.
And one of my favorite things in the whole world is bubble gum. So I'm coloring in some fun colored pieces of bubble gum. Again, using colors that you don't see in my picture to bring it together. And I am drawing a passport because I love to travel to foreign countries. And I'm sad because we can't do it right now with quarantine. But that's okay. There you have it, kids.